Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hack Gazette, here with the next video, and this is showing my first ever CWL 10v10 3 star. It's been way too long. I haven't been in every CWL war, but I've been in enough to, I should have gotten my first 3 star by now, but it finally happened in this last war against LT. It's actually still going on right now, still relatively early on, actually. I was the first 10v10 attempt. Um, but we're gonna take a look at the scout, then the actual attack, because I think the scout matters, and it helps give you guys a fuller idea of how the 10v10 thing works, if you're not um, entirely sold on how it goes so far, or if you don't know that much about it. So I'm gonna show the scout, but um, basically I used hogs on this one, and this base has a very exposed bottom inferno, and Queen Walk is actually very powerful at Town Hall 10 if you can avoid the Lava Hound in the CC, which you can on this base because the radius doesn't extend into that little compartment right there. Now LP, my scout, has a bit of a wall breaker fail right there, um, but that gives the necessary um, information, I guess. Now it's difficult to funnel the Queen into that compartment right there with the Wizard Tower and what was the Archer Tower because there's not a whole lot to pull her in. I mean, she'll take out the two buildings inside of there, but the question is what's gonna draw her in? So that's something I had to think about. You'll see how I deal with it on my uh, actual attack. I test the pops right there, the queen takes it out, and it's questionable whether the wall breakers had been successful, would she even have walked in if that wall was open? So uh, pops the ability right there. The next part was to come in with a kind of a bowler, king, few valk, kill squad. He already used his Valks on the uh, trying to get the wall open, but here's the king and the bowlers to test this part out. The idea is there's not a whole lot of giant bombs. There is the king and the queen, both of which are important to take out on a hog attack. And it turns out there's some Teslas as well. Now he f does not trigger a giant bomb right by the this Tesla in that building, which I would have been helpful because that actually hits my bowlers and you know is a little bit risky there. Um, you'll see in my actual attack what happens. But he scouts that out, things look good. The two Teslas there actually are very nice because I get that value from my kill squad initially, so my hogs don't have to deal with it or anything like that. The queen will also grab this Tesla, so, so far so good. Here come his hogs. I basically told him I need to see what's next to that inferno, how many giant bombs there are. If it's just packed with giant bombs, I might not even be able to send hogs through. Um, gotta know. So he luckily is able to slip one or two hogs in there only one giant bomb from what it looks like, I mean, unless there's stuff behind the Inferno, but that doesn't matter as much after the Inferno goes down. So that's the scout. Let's see how I took advantage of this to get the three star um, going into base number seven. Uh, here's my attack. You can see um, it goes down for a while. So I actually got it done in about two minutes, 25 seconds or so. Um, let's take a look at the adjustments I made based off that scout. Uh, went ahead and went with the same plan didn't want to change anything there. I did some pre-archers, which are a good way to create your funnel if you're not going to be using that area initially. You can get a cheap funnel just by archers if you have that time. So I dropped down the queen. Now I dropped archers on the army camp because I had to get that taken out, but that's it. I'm not getting anything else because here's the idea. Um, once the wall breakers were successful, which they are after the, the adjustment because there was a spring trap there, I adjusted my wall breakers, got it open, the Tesla is never triggered, and that's the key. I could not afford for that Tesla to be triggered. The reason it was triggered in his attack is because he dropped a Valk to try to get through the wall in desperation, but my wall breakers were successful, so I didn't need to, and I'm able to just kind of let things uh, progress, and the queen just uh, follows in at these gold storages, uh, perfect pathing and everything. Now right here, I dropped the goblin because I want to trigger that Tesla, make sure the queen comes back down. She targets the inferno, so I was safe anyway. But that way, I don't have to worry about the Tesla popping, which can delay the queen a little bit. Uh, go ahead and drop that rage to keep her up. Might not have even needed it, but I guess probably did. Yeah, I needed the rage um, to keep her up amidst those three point defense. She goes back around, which is perfect because she's going to be successful with only a few point defense on the outside. Now, right here, I dropped the golem, a few Valks to get that Tesla. They actually kind of die on the king, which wasn't the best investment of 16 troop space. You can see that giant bomb hit my boulders right there, which um, definitely hurt. But luckily, the boulders can sustain one giant bomb blow. The king and the golem are doing all the tanking, so I'm still getting the benefit of the boulders. And then here come the hogs. 
eight on the Archer Tower, a Giant to tank the Tesla, the Archer Tower, and the Wizard Tower, a Freeze to get all three of those defenses, and then heal over the Giant Bomb. As soon as the Inferno wakes up, it's dead. Waking up to being dead, that must be scary. Um, the Hogs come through, they still have the benefit of that heal. You can see how many are left up. The Lava Hound is on the King, which is perfect. The Wizard and everything else died to the Kill Squad and the Poisons. Um, could not have asked for a better attack. Three wizards for cleanup. Not gonna let it be like my last live attack where um, I didn't have enough cleanup, but didn't even need the wizards to be honest with the hogs, the king, the queen, all that stuff still being up. So crush this space. Hope you guys liked it. I wish I recorded it live. The problem is um, I'm attacking on my iPad now and uh, I used to do it on my phone actually because my iPad was running super slow, but I was able to get it to uh, process Clash of Clans faster and run the game script faster so it's able to um it's able to like not lag in that way i can actually attack okay it still lags a little bit but i can attack better than i could before and it's a little bit smoother so i'm able to use my ipad now which i can't mirror onto my computer as of yet but i'm going to work on finding a program uh, that i can use to get my ipad screen onto the computer so you can continue to see my live attacks because it's a fun series to do wish i would have recorded this one live but um it wouldn't be a live attack if I didn't fail and I was successful. So there it is, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bisectatron out.